Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Listen, this is a confirmation about the blessing not being late. Your delivery is on time, right? Right after I made this video, I got a phone call from somebody because I ordered something for them. And they said, when is this delivery supposed to come? Isn't it between yesterday and today? And I was like, yes. And she was like, I've been waiting all day and I don't see it. So I said, let me go check. But let me show you. This is what they sent me. The delivery should be November 21 or 22. You could see that, right? So I told her, let me go check the email, what they sent me regarding this delivery. So they sent me an email and it says, my delivery date is now Wednesday the 23. See that? So I told her and she was like, oh, no, 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 no. Call them and cancel and take the money back. The, they told you between today and today. Why are they doing this? Uh, so I was like, calm down. It's okay. Even I'm not going to call and cancel the order. Sometimes things happen and it says it's going to show up tomorrow. That's not that far from today. You get that? <laughs> it just hit me. She's seen the time instead of the blessing, right? Instead of what she want. You cancel it, then what? You're going to have to go and try to go order this thing again. So I was thinking to myself, even though it says 23, it says estimated delivery date. So I probably could have still showed up today. I kind of said that to myself and I just left it. Out of nowhere, she called me and said, oh, the package came. It just showed up. <laughs> and I laughed. <laughs> And I'm like, I know this is just some confirmation, revelation. Lord, what are you saying? And then he reminded me of the video I made. The blessing is on time. It's not late. Your package is on time. It's not late. Your delivery is on time. He didn't change the time. He didn't change his mind. Okay? It's going to show up when you least expect it. She wasn't even expecting the delivery anymore. But it still showed up. That's how faithful your God is. Okay? That was a whole revelation I just got. Like that literally just came out. Even though she forgot it and she gave up on it saying, ah, it's not going to come till tomorrow. God still showed up the time that he had planned for this thing. Don't play with my father. All right. Your delivery is on time. The marriage is on time. The house is on time. The car is on time. Whatever delivery you're waiting for, it's on time. It cannot be late and it will not be late. There's no delay for your blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what you see or feel. What did, what did this show me? The new estimate delivery was tomorrow. It's for tomorrow, the 23. But God still showed up. But the package still showed up today. Okay? God never changed his mind. Who that's a revelation? When God tell you something, he, de he never changed his mind. The first time this thing told me between Monday and Tuesday, right? Yet still, I got a new email telling me to expect it on, uh, hallelujah, on the 23rd. And this is how the devil works, okay? <laughs> hallelujah. I promise you, I'm just falling right now. God spoke a thing to you, and then because you're not seeing what you want to see, you're not feeling what you want to feel, you start agreeing with the enemy that it's not going to come this time, it's going to come the next day. But your father is faithful, and he still shows up. But what I'm saying is, don't give back the blessing because you're impatient and you're watching the time. Here we go back to this time word again. She is saying, oh my gosh, cancel it. How they say going to come today, and then they talking about tomorrow. I'm like... Why are you going to cancel the order? It literally, even if it doesn't come today, it says tomorrow. That's what the enemy wants to some, have some of y'all doing. This marriage is taking too long. Where is he? You throw in the towel. No. You wait. You stand. You be patient. Stop seeing time. God don't even work in time. Okay. God is out of time. So when you hear killing up yourself, it's taking five years. God just seeing a, a day, like. Don't give back the blessing because you're impatient and because you're watching the time. Okay? Like, this literally just explains everything. I, do, <laughs> I just come on here to say one thing, that your delivery is going to be on time. But look at, look at all of these other things that just literally, this, all, all these other revelations that just came up. Stop watching the time. See the blessing. 
see the marriage, see the house, see the car, see whatever it is you're waiting for. Stop worrying about time. If you're worrying about time, the devil is in control of your time. And he should not be in control of your time. Like God, like the, the first email that they send me that is going to be between today and tomorrow, it's saying God never changes mind. Whatever God spoke to you, that's what you're going to get. And that's when it's going to show up. He does not change his mind, okay? God is not a man for him to lie or the son of man for him to repent. Have you ever said something and not do it? Okay? God is always on time. You know, whatever he spoke to you, he did not change his mind. Don't see the time he did not change his mind. And when they send the new email saying it's this third day, now the person just wanted to give the blessing back. That's sim that's what you do too. Don't do that. All right. And this word is for me too and everybody. Because sometimes, oh, the time. I stop watching time to be honest. I don't watch the time. I believe that I receive it and I have it now. Okay. You need to do the same too. I pray this word blesses you. Have a beautiful day. Stay blessed. Bye.